And new tonight, Illinois lawmakers made it a requirement that new schools being constructed must have a tornado safe room installed to fit all students and staff. That law went into effect in 2015. Perfect timing for Quincy's quest to build five new schools. Tonight, I show you what it takes to withstand the power of Mother Nature. Before students attending the new Quincy Public Schools can take tests in the new classrooms, the school itself has to pass a difficult test of its own. The tornado safe room, which we're standing in right now in Lincoln Douglas, almost completed. We have some pads to put up, but uh, if, if there's a weather emergency, a tornado, uh, heavy straight line winds or something like that, they can all come into this room and they'll be safe and secure. The challenge? The tornado shelter has to withstand winds of 250 miles per hour. That's the strength of an EF5 tornado. The task was accepted by Klinger and Associates, the designer of the new Lincoln Douglas Elementary School. The design is not that much different than designing a regular building uh, for just normal winds, uh, but we're designing for 250 mile an hour winds. So everything's heavier, and that's really that's really the main difference. This is the biggest daytime tornado I've seen. The 250 mile requirement set by the state of Illinois stems from the International Code Council's standard for construction of storm shelters. Quincy sits right in the center of the 250 mile per hour wind speed zone, an area that is frequented by twisters. When it comes to designing the new shelter, every aspect from the doors to the windows to the utility openings has to withstand the power of tornadoes. You can't have windows unless they're tested for those type of winds, which is pretty hard to meet. That's one thing to say that a door or a wall can withstand a tornado, but another thing to actually prove it. Here at UL in Northbrook, Illinois, they have the technology to do just that. <laughs> we use this cannon for two different purposes. One is for hurricane testing, the other one is for tornado safe rooms. The tornado safe room is to ensure that everyone has a place to go to during a tornado that is safe in the building. To simulate the effects of tornadoes, a 12 foot long board is fired at 100 miles per hour at a building material to make sure it can pass the strict requirement. The roof of the gymnasium, which is the shelter for the school, is made up of several 16,000 pound concrete slabs that interlock with the wall. It's what help keeps the whole unit together, fighting against nature's fury. For Superintendent Roy Webb, the shelter provides a needed sense of security when the skies turn dark. We've had them hunkered down in halls and away from glass and we've done the best we've can in the past. Now we have a room design that kids can come into. Now materials used in the new Quincy Public Schools have already been tested to withstand 250 mile per hour winds. The high school's tornado shelter was installed during a remodel and is an entire wing of the school. Lincoln Douglas Elementary School opens in just a few weeks.